here are solutions to their GCSE revision worksheet on ratio and proportion. Question 1 part A, we've got to write the ratio 2 to 6 in its simplest form. We can simplify ratios in the same way that we simplify fractions. We have to divide both sides of the ratio by the same number. Both 2 and 6 are in the 2 times table. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Question number 2. There are the ingredients needed to make 16 gingerbread men. Hamish wants to make 24 gingerbread men. Work out how many each of the ingredients he needs. Um, you've got to spot the link between 16 and 24 and the fact that if you half 16, you get 8. So if we half all of these ingredients, it would tell us how much of each of the ingredients we need for 8 gingerbread men. But then 16 plus 8 would give us 24 gingerbread men. So for 16 gingerbread men, we need 180 grams of flour. That means we need 90 grams of flour for 8 gingerbread men. And all together, for 24 gingerbread men, we're going to need 270 grams of flour. 40 halved is 20, so that will be 60 grams of ginger. 110 halved is 55, so all together that will be 165 grams of butter. And 30 halved is 15, so all together that will be 45 grams of sugar. Question number three. A pile of sand has weight 60 kilograms. It's put into a small, medium and a large bag in the ratio of 2 to 3 to 7. We have to work out the weight of sand in each bag. What we have to do is we have to share the 60 kilograms in that ratio. Um, so you could have 2 kilograms in the small bag, 3 kilograms in the middle bag and 7 kilograms in the large bag. And then they would be in the correct ratio. But if you add those all together that equals 12 kilograms. So you could have the bags twice as heavy. You could have 4 and then 6 and then 14. That's the same ratio as this one, but altogether that is 24 kilograms. We could carry on in the same manner until we get up to 60 kilograms, but an easier way to share in a ratio is to add together the parts of the ratio so if we fill one 2 kilogram bag, one 3 kilogram bag, and one 7 kilogram bag, all together that would be 12 kilograms. How many times would we need to do that to share out the 60 kilograms? We need to do that 5 times, so we'll have 5 lots of them, which would be 10, 5 lots of them, which would be 15, and 5 lots of them, which would be 35. Question number four is another share in a ratio. Uh, three people share £300 in the ratio 2 to 3 to 5. Um, so Ali would get £2 for every £3 that Ben gets for every £5 that Candice gets. So you could share out £10 in that way. And if they got twice as much, that would be how you share out £20 and then 6 and 9 and 15 will be how you share out £30. And obviously, again, you can see that's going to take you a long time to carry through that way um, to get up to 300 So go back to this. This is how, how they share out £10. How many lots of £10 are in £300? There's 30 lots of £10 in £300. So Ali's going to get 30 lots of £2. Ben's going to get 30 lots of £3. And Candice is going to get 30 lots of £5. How much money does Candice get? 30 lots of £5 is £150. Question number five. This has to do with sharing in a ratio again, but it's slightly more difficult. Read the question, see if you can notice the, the difference. OK, the difference is we're not told how much money. All we're told is that they share some money. I think the easiest way to do this is to imagine that they shared £100 and see what happens. 100 should be a fairly easy number to work with. Uh, Colin gets three-tenths of the money. Three-tenths of £100 is £30. That means that Emma and Dave have £70 to share between them, and they share that in the ratio 3 to 2. So exactly the same rules as above. We know how they would share out £5. How many lots of £5 are there in 70? There are 14. 
So Emma will get 14 lots of 3, which is 42, and Dave will get 14 lots of 2, which is 28. And the question says, what is Dave's share of the money? Well, if he gets £28 out of £100, then he's getting 28% of the money. You get the same percentage, whatever amount of money you start with. Question number six. Again, it's a share in the ratio, but it's slightly different. Pat and Julie share some money in the ratio of two to five. Julie gets £45 more than Pat. Pat and Julie, two to five. Julie gets £45 more. Well, they could get £2 and £5. That would be in the correct ratio. But it wouldn't have a difference of 45. It would only have a difference of three. So what you need to do is see how many of those go into that. And there are 15. So if we give Pat 15 times more, and if we give Julie 15 times more, then these numbers are in the same ratio. But now if you compare them, they have a difference of 45. How much money did Pat get? Like it's thirty pounds. Question number seven. Uh, to mix concrete, we need cement, sand, and gravel in the ratio one to three to five. Uh, we want to make one hundred eighty kilograms of concrete, and those are the ingredients we have. Do we have enough? Um, well, in order to make one hundred eighty kilograms. Let's share the 180 kilograms in the ratio 1 to 3 to 5 and see how much of each we'd make. So again, same steps. Add together the three parts in the ratio. So to make 9 kilograms of concrete, we need 1 kilogram of cement, 3 of sand and 5 of gravel. How many lots of 9 are in 180? There's 20, therefore we need 20 lots of 1 which is 20 kilograms of cement. We need 20 lots of three, which is 60 kilograms of sand. And then we'd need 20 lots of five, which is 100 kilograms of gravel. And now what you have to do to finish the question is to compare what we need against what we have. You can see we've got enough gravel, just. Um, we've got enough sand, because we have 85 grams, uh, kilograms and we need 60. But we need 20 kilograms of cement and we've only got 15 kilograms. So to complete the question and get full marks, you have to answer the question, does Talil have enough cement? No, he doesn't. Does he have enough cement, sand and gravel to make the concrete? No, he's five kilograms short of cement. And finally, question eight. Five schools send some students to a conference. They send boys and girls. One of the schools sent 16 boys and the ratio of boys to girls is 1 to 2. The other four schools sent only girls and each of the five sent the same number of students. Work out the total number of students. There's a lot of information to process here. Let's start with this part. The first school. They sent boys and girls. The school sends 16 boys and the ratio of boys to girls is 1 to 2. So from that we can work out that the school this first school sent 32 girls. We'll need to know the total number of students. You'll see why in a moment. So the first school sent 48 students, 16 boys and 32 girls. Now the other four schools sent only girls. Each of the five schools sent the same number of students. So what we have is we have five schools each sending 48 students. The total number of students is therefore 5 times 48 which is the same as 10 times 24, because if we double that and half that, we get an equivalent calculation, and it's easier to see that that's 240.